Hello everyone, welcome back to my garden. Um, today I'd like to do some garden cleanup. But it's been raining, it's been cold, it's been windy. Today is supposed to be 73, which is like a godsend. Like I'm so, so happy about that. Um, but then I step out here and it's windy as hell. It's so windy and I'm just thinking like, I don't care. By this point in time, I just don't care. I just want to get everything in the ground. Well, I want to clean up my hydrangeas. I want to get all the dead leaves off the ground, like from the um, the flowers that grew last year, the perennials. And I just want to clean up my garden. If I have time, I might plant some of my leftover pansies and violas, which are over here. Um, they've been getting beat up by the cold weather we've been having so i hope to get that all sorted out today too um but let's see how far we go we get um i even got some some garden supplies like pots and also like containers and also um what else did i get like a mirror for outside i think garden mirrors are so beautiful I also got um, some light fixtures for outside and like I got it all online on uh, like a thrift store and I'm just ready to start putting things together so let's see how much we get done today okay so before we start I'd like to show you the things that I'd like to get done today um, I'm hoping to get my uh, hydrangeas pruned I have one right in front of me here so this is the hydrangea it looks as though it's been beat up throughout the summer. I can even see that I have a cracked branch over here, which is really sad. <sighs> you know what? Taking this out might actually improve the structure of the plant. Because um, it was like this before, which is nice. But if it's sad and all, but it might open it up a little bit. I like that structure too. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I want to show you how to prune a hydrangea. So this is how you do it. I look for any weak branches like this. Anything that looks weak and straggly like this. It's not needed. I cut these ones off because I'm looking for strong branches like this. Because these will hold up to wind it'll create a stronger plant they say anything that's smaller than the number two pencil you want to cut out okay so that's what i'll be going through and looking for i'll also be looking for anything that's kind of you know going up into the plant like the branches that's just going into the plant for no reason like this it's just growing in here i'm gonna and it's spindly too so i'm gonna cut it out but look at this it's actually like this is this is not good it's it's going into the plant it's, I don't really like what it's doing here. It's crisscrossing. So I'm going to have to go through. And this part is already breaking off. So what I might do, instead of cutting this branch, which has a lot of strong stems on it, I'm going to go ahead and maybe cut this one back because it's growing into the plant and I don't like that. So I'll, I'll cut it all the way back. And the number one rule of hydrangea cutting is that so make sure you cut out all the springly branches but you also want to make sure that you go through and you cut off the old bloom heads look for a swollen knob let's see how this is like swollen over here you can see that and it's it wants to grow this is where a new bloom will come from like a new branch or a new bloom will come from these swollen knobs so you want to go through and cut your hydrangeas back. You cut it back to stolen knob, okay? Make sure you don't cut off more than um, one third of the plant because then it will struggle and you don't want a struggling plant. So that's what I'm gonna go, that's what I'm gonna do. And also, so as you're cutting it, try and cut it in a nice round shape, right? So you go through, you cut it, shape it up as you go take out anything that's growing into the plant that's not looking good and you should have a beautiful plant okay so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna cut back my grass over there it's leaning down i'm gonna clear uh, out these 
the containers right here if you can see this container is not looking too good i had a sedum in there it was glorious it was beautiful but it's dead now so i'm gonna take it out if you can see here i had chives interplanted with it too so the chives are growing i also had a sedum growing in here um it's growing underneath the little rosettes down there you see that the plant is pushing new growth so all of this needs to be cut out and i have another seed up over there that's doing the same thing very beautiful plant I, <laughs> so the story behind that cloth right there is i had like bunnies coming through my yard last year was so bad like i i almost cried okay because i spent so much time inside growing seeds and I had some beautiful cucumbers. I had beautiful tomato plants, you know, like squash, everything. I was so excited to bring it out here and plant it. And when I did, like within the, was it that night? I came outside and they were all chopped to the ground. Nothing left for me to grow. It was just, it was so heartbreaking. So what I did is I went to buy some coyote urine, I know, but it's a natural predator of rabbits and, you know, mice and all those things. So when they smell the urine, the, the hope is they smell it, they will know there's a predator around and they would stay far, stay away, not come by. <laughs> um, it worked a little bit, but I think what actually did it for me in the front garden here um, was this plant that's growing. It's not up yet this right here and that is the bee balm it has such a strong scent strong strong scent and mice and rabbits they don't really like strong scent and it just stayed clear they stayed clear and it was just i i was free the other thing that i'm going to work on too today cleaning out this little mini flower bed that i have here with the grasses they were so pretty but now it's time for me to cut them back at the base. I'm gonna cut them back at the base and they'll grow right back up. So that's what we're doing today. today is about four days later um, I actually finished cleaning on um, that day however I just I had to make a run to go pick up another item for my garden from you guess where the thrift store online central 
which I call Facebook Marketplace. But for now, let's show you what I've done so far in the garden um, cleanup. Um, I finally finished it. I'm so proud of myself. Things look so much better. I cleaned up the hydrangea here. The hydrangea was breaking here at the branch. Like this spot here and I was contemplating whether or not to just cut off that whole branch or just cut off this part. I ended up cutting off the entire branch that was crisscrossing into here and um, it made the plant look a lot better. Um, I did I did cut off a lot. I think the plant has opened up. It looks a lot better. I cut back the grass. That pot there is all cleaned up now. You can see the chives free to grow and be beautiful. Um, that pot there has been cleaned out as well. You can see there's been so much growth since the last video or since the last time I shot this area. Everything has gone, grown so much, so fast. Like, look at this sedum here that I was cutting back and it had undergrowth. Now it's so big. And this is just growth within the last four days. Even the alliums have grown up so quickly. It just shows me that spring is finally here and things are going to be looking up from here. We've been in like, we've been having summer like weather in the last four days, which is crazy. It's kind of a false summer like weather because spring is still here. And um, I'm just wondering how everything is going to handle it once the weather drops again. It's not generally in the 80s in the spring, but that's the weather we've been having the last four days. And so everything is just booming and it's just so fast. Um, my garden is starting to look a lot like a garden than a barren land. And um, my spirea is growing and is leafing out profusely. The last time we were out here, it was just like sticks. Everything was like this, like there was nothing. Now it's just leafing out. And I'm just hoping that once the weather dips again, because it's supposed to go back down into the 50s and some nights into the like 30s, um, I might come out here and cover it just to keep it safe. But anyways, all right, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for joining me. I'm cleaning my garden. Things are looking up and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.